All right, thanks for joining us on this Thursday evening. Look at traffic there. You're looking at the eastbound lanes of I-94 at the University exit backed up here and it goes all the way out past the 20th Street exit past the 34th Street exit. So it's backed up quite a ways there heading eastbound again. Well, keep that in mind as you're traveling across the valley tonight. Here's a look at the swirling area of low pressure over Hudson's Bay. We've had passing showers in northern Minnesota. A few sprinkles reported in Kitson County there. Thanks, uh, Liz, for the report there. Otherwise, it's just cloudy and it is cool. Look at the greens here. 50s and low 50s at that along the international border. Grand Forks has since dropped into those 50s as well. Still 70 from Fargo through the I-94 corridor down to Alexandria and 74 this hour for you in Sisseton. Pretty fair in Jamestown as well at 69 degrees. Gusts over 40 miles per hour do continue in the Southern Valley. The winds are not as strong up north. That's illustrated very well here. The green arrows, if you follow those, that's the gusty winds between now and say the seven o'clock hour. They continue in the same spot where they're gusty through then. Winds stay quiet, temperatures cool, rain chances continue along the international border. After sunset, the winds taper off in a nice way. Now, as we go overnight, watch this. I'm not going to pause it, but in the overnight hours, you're going to see some 30s briefly make their way in. Mid 30s means we could see patchy frost in places. The best chance of that in our northern and eastern counties of North Dakota. We'll keep you posted. It looks pretty cool. It won't be widespread, but we'll say there is a chance of a brief burr across the northern counties. Midday, big changes tomorrow. Here's what you need to know. We're not going to see nearly as gusty winds and we'll have a huge warm up in our northern counties. You'll feel the biggest and largest difference over today where you saw temperatures only in the low 50s. We're right back up into the mid 60s for a nice warm up there. The rest of us will enjoy temperatures in the 70s, but without the gusts to 40 plus miles per hour, making Friday fabulous for most as we go through the evening hours, it looks very quiet. So a fantastic Friday indeed. A lot of you saw these to start out the month. These are called wave clouds. Really cool clouds can help us see what the wind is doing. When you see wave clouds like this, you got a layer of slower moving air or wind right below a faster layer that creates waves just like it does on Detroit Lake Lake Sally. You name it. You get building waves here, building waves, and then they break and curl over just like the waves on the water. All in all, beautiful photos. Thanks to all of you for sharing them like this one here. Katie, thanks over DL. Now look at your planning forecast as we go through Friday. Beautiful Saturday, even more beautiful. Best day of the weekend. Chance of a sprinkle and cooler north wind on Sunday. We stay cool early next week. Spotty shower chances Tuesday and again on, on Thursday of next week. Got you giggling a little bit? Yeah, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm a big heel around here. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but you made it over here safely. Yeah, my shoe might have fallen off, or somebody's. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Up next on Valley News Live at 6, the toppings from this man's pizza box are prompting smiles from people passing by. We'll